Hey guys, this is Natalie and today I am doing a highly requested tutorial of how to do a full set of acrylics. So those are all the materials that I will be using. So I'm using this Pana, I think that's how you say it, this nail trainer and I got this one off of eBay for about $24 and I'm pretty sure the little nail tips came included. I'm not sure how many it's in there but I rarely ever use it. So first thing you want to do is start sizing your um, fingernails. And I, I really cannot remember how many different sizes there is. I want to say I, I used the same size for those four fingers. And then I think I used the bigger one for the thumb. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Next thing you want to do is cut the tips off because we don't want a long nail under our tips. So we're going to cut all those off and after we do that we're going to start shaping the nail. Okay, and now to file the nails down, I am using this nail file that I got from my local nail supply store. So you just want to kind of remove those little rough edges from the sides and you want to do that to every nail. Okay, so next thing you want to do is remove the shine from the nail and you want to do this really slightly because you don't want to cut their cuticles or anything and you also don't want to thin out their nail. So as you can see, I'm just gently removing that uh, shine and if I were doing it on the actual person, I don't usually use a hand file and I know a lot of people do, but I like to use my e-file just for speed that's about it but for this um, hand trainer I decided to use this hand file because that e-file is not the same I don't know it feels kind of weird whenever I'm doing it I guess because I'm doing it on plastic so I didn't like it Alrighty guys, so next thing you want to do is start sizing and applying your nail tips. So the most important thing when you're doing this is you want to make sure that you get the correct size tip. Because if you get one that's too small, your nails will eventually start to crack. So if one is too small and one's too big, you want to go with the bigger one. Because you can always fall down the um, corners of it to make it into the right size for your nails so this is what I'm going to be doing for this next nail as you can see I'm going to file the little corners and that's just to make it fit perfectly on that nail And this is just an FYI, I did not put what kind of glue I was using because I actually ran out of the glue that I usually use to glue my tips on. So I was just using the glue that I use for my rhinestones. So I didn't want to confuse people or anything so I just didn't say what glue. All 
Alrighty, so now that all the nails are on, you just want to clip them down to the desired length. And if I were doing the other hand, I usually put their hands side by side and measure each individual nail um, just to make sure that all their nails are even. Since we'll be doing the coffin shape, next thing you want to do is cut off those little corners and that's just to save time. And I usually use a nail clipper, but I'll be showing you how to do it with a nail clipper as well as the small scissors because I've seen a lot of people using those little scissors. But I feel more comfortable doing with a nail clipper just to be safe. So next thing you want to do is just start filing their nail and you want to alternate from side to side just to make sure it's even. And once you get to the desired um, shape, you want to just do the free edge just to make sure it's straight. Okay, so once you uh, shape your nail, you want to just slightly file the top of the tip just to kind of blend it and make it look a little more natural. So like I said, just slightly do it. You don't want to thin out their natural nail. So just mainly focus on that um, tip. Alright, so now we're going to be applying this Bondex primer and this will just help your acrylic stay on and so you don't have any lifting or any of that stuff. So you just want to apply it to the natural nail and that's it. We're going over to the acrylic application and like I've said before I am using this Mia Secret acrylic system and I am doing the three bit okay I can't say it, the three bit method. So we're using three bit dang I can't say it three bit bit beads three beads why am I saying bits three beads of acrylic so the first one I put it right in the middle of the nail and as you can see I just gently brush it down to the nail tip your second bead you want to put it right above that so right at the cuticle or right below the cuticle sorry you want to put it right below the cuticle and you see how I'm just slightly like brushing it on the acrylic or sorry on the nail like slightly I'm kind of feathering it down so you don't have to use a lot of product and that's really a really important thing the less product you use the more time you'll save and the less work you'll have to do at the end so you have to work smarter so I did that second bead and that's like I said right below that uh, cuticle and you want to just feather it down too and then your third bead will go right in that middle right in the middle and you want to brush it down again And one thing I forgot to mention is uh, pay attention to the way I keep wiping my brush. You want to make sure that your brush is clean, 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 clean the whole time. Because I know um, I've had different girls tell me like, oh, I have a hard time trying to get that acrylic off my brush. So make sure right before you dip your brush back into the acrylic or into the liquid, you have to wipe your brush. So I probably wipe my brush about a million times while I'm doing a nail and that's okay. Sometimes I feel like I'm over cleaning my brush, but that is just fine. You do not want your brush full of acrylic.
Alrighty, so we're getting closer to the end and now we're just gonna start reshaping our nails. And I wanna mention that um, whenever I got to the thumb, since I was the last nail that I did, it wasn't dry. So the way you can um, see if they're dry or not, you wanna tap the nail. So if it sounds like that, that means it's dry. But if it don't sound like, the, if that tapping noise isn't as loud or if it's not tapping, you know, right, then that means it's not dry, if it makes sense. I'm pretty sure it does. So now you wanna just start filing. Um, all your nails and like I said before if you work smarter You won't have to do too much work when you get to this part So I really didn't have much to do, but I just wanted to make sure it was smooth and just right So you don't want to do this too rough You just want to literally like get any little bumps or any little imperfections Sorry, her finger kept falling off <laughs> But yeah, so you just want to get any of those little bumps or whatever off the nail and after you do that, we're just going to be buffing it just to make sure that it's super duper smooth. Sorry, and I forget to mention that I always use the e-file whenever I'm filing the nail after I do my acrylic application but for this tutorial I am using my hand file once again only because that e-file just does not act right on this nail trainer it feels weird I don't know if it's just because it just know that it's not an actual human I don't know but it did not feel right so it's better if you use that hand file on this nail trainer I also wanted to mention that when you're buffing, you want to make sure that you get under that nail like that so you can get all the little excess little stuff from the nail tip because my girls apparently like to pick at their nails if that stuff is not off. So you want to make sure you get all that off and after you do that, you just want to wipe them off or have your girls wash their hands or whatever process you do and you're all done. So this is the final look and they look so pretty, they're so perfect, the shape is perfect, they're smooth, they look good, and I hope you guys like it. Uh, don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and I have another video coming so soon, so stay tuned. And I also have a giveaway that I want to talk to you guys about, so stay tuned and I will be back pretty soon with another tutorial. Thank you for watching.